episode six. Episode six. I'm so excited for this question right now. Uh, because it's based on the last episode where somebody asked me um, to go more into detail, go more in on how religion and government are the same. And I was I was waiting for somebody to ask me that. I mean, because <laughs> this could be an hour long video, but best believe we're keeping it under 10 minutes, making it short, right? Religion and government. How are they the same? The words already, already the words. If you saw the last post, you know, religion stands for a repeating legion. Whereas government is right there. Government, govern the mental. So again, religion, repeating legion, government, governing the mental state. So, thinking how to connect this properly. Basically, for religion to be powerful, it has to govern your mental state, right? So, a religion is a type of government. When they talk about, like, the separation of church and state, that's just literally is creating, <laughs> creating sort of like a magic square for you, where it's like you just split these two things apart, and then all of a sudden... People think that they choose one or the other, but they don't see how it both connects back to you. So it's all your shit. It's kind of like if I tell you, you can choose either red, blue, or green, but these are all things that will give me money if you pick them. But because I gave you the illusion of choice, you think that you have free will and that you are doing what you're supposed to do based on the options I gave you. So that's, again, what we're talking about here. Everything's agreements. You can choose to believe in your imagination and just yourself, just your spirit type deal. Um, if you feel unworthy and you have low vibrations and you're in a world that is teaching you not to do that and teaching you you need to go to a repeating legion, then, I mean, that's a spiritual warfare right there, right? Just in that a repeating legion, again, is um, when we think legion... I'm going to say legion of demons, but let's just say spirits. It's just that it plays out in negative demonic energy a lot. But, you know, a repeating legion of spirits is basically just spirits who are reading this story that another spirit wrote. And they are assigning their soul, their power of belief to that imagination. Therefore, they are making that spirit that authored that book bigger at the sacrifice of their own space. They are giving their space to another space and then they live out the same characteristics as that space. So that's why no matter what religion you're following, it's true to you and no one can tell you anything. And the ego can create wars and awful shit about it all the time. Again, that's just how it manifests physically down here. A um, bunch of people creating their own problems based on the soul that they, based on the spirit that they have given their soul to. So it's like, you know, one religion versus another religion just fighting. But like I said earlier, these two religions that have people fighting each other could very well be two ideas authored by the same spirit. So again, we're talking about like real spiritual warfare here, real illusion of choice type shit where they set up all these variables and then make you feel a certain way so that you feel like you have to pick them. But I mean, this is a difference between uh, certain spirits and other spirits. I don't want to say like strong and weak. It's more so on um, follower and leader. But again, that's where we're not here to ever judge anyone's spiritual path. I'm just telling you what's straight up going on. <laughs> uh, just straight up. Like this is like the... I'm trying to put it in the simplest way I can with the English language. This is what's going on. And you can learn a lot about yourself by being a slave, by being a follower. Again, right? Like when Kanye says slavery is a choice, he's not wrong. You could choose death, which is ultimate liberation. Right? So like the only people that were slaves 
were people who uh, desired to be tethered to this flesh more than they desired to be with God or with their spirit. And of course, to make people feel that way, you had to indoctrinate them young. So again, that's why Christianity, big time, is the catalyst for the largest genocides we've seen on this planet, for real, in human history, especially when we're considering just all of North and South America, co-authored by Jesus and his followers, um, and by the rationality of Christians, all the millions and millions of Native Americans who were murdered by people who are saved by Jesus are burning in hell. And that is their logic based on the story that they adhere to. Again, there's hundreds of religions. You can create your own religion. You can create your own repeating legion. This is what celebrity culture is. All right, and this is part of the government. Okay, so when we see that the government needs to govern the mental states of everyone to create their states and to keep control, then they're going to create all these idols, right? All these stars, right? For everyone to crowd around. So now you got all these repeating legions around people who don't fuck with religion because they're so disconnected from spirituality. Because literally... These entities need you to be completely anti-spiritual. Like, this is why you're not going to see any advocation for fasting, really, in this world like that. Um, that's why I'm definitely not really seen in the most positive way uh, in terms of how I fast to extreme. Going 24 days and going, like, over 80 this year just for 2020. But again, that is this world attacking me because it knows I'm not of it and it's trying to keep me here. And that's what we're all experiencing, right? That is, again, the warfare where you raise your vibration, but the more you raise your vibration and the more you remember that you are a spirit operating a soul, operating a body, not just a body or even a soul operating a body, you are the spirit. That's where the infinite power is, and that's why they don't want you to have that. So the government and religion is um, very much fueled around keeping you trapped in a certain spirit, in a certain space. And then whoever created that spirit is getting stronger, and they have freedom. Because your imagination is limited to this, whereas they're all out here. All right. So they're the spirit who created this religion or this government for you to believe in and put your soul into is all out here. They create these possibilities for you. And because you are like a point in these possibilities, you think this is God. You think that is everything when really the person who made this for you is all out here. <laughs> like that's again, I hope I'm putting it uh in the simplest terms I can, because that's exactly the whole point of governing your mental state so that you repeat the spirit that put you into that imagination. And that's hell. We're out. I'm done. Yeah? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs>